It is really amazing what you can do with a few lines of shell scripting on Linux. It's one of the things I really love about Linux as an operating system is the fact that anytime I have a problem, I can usually solve it with a simple shell script. And the other day I was browsing r slash Linux and I saw a fellow, he uh, was sharing a shell script that he wrote called Stylish. And what this is, it's a really interesting shell script that changes your wallpaper. What it does is it goes to the internet and finds a random wallpaper and then sets that as your wallpaper. It uses, I think, Unsplash as the default uh, source for sourcing the wallpapers, but it can also source various subreddits where people post wallpapers and it'll just go and grab a random wallpaper and set it for you and I thought it was such a neat little script I wanted to highlight it today on camera. So the name of this script is stylish. Stylish spelled S-T-Y-L-I dot S-H. The dot S-H extension is the standard extension for shell scripts and what stylish is it's about a hundred lines of a shell script and it uses, I think for dependencies, FEH and Pywall. Those are two command line programs people use to set wallpapers. It also uh, uses wget. wget is what it uses to, to go and grab the wallpapers and download it to your machine. wget is a command line download utility. To install Stylish, it's just three lines of a copy and paste in the terminal. First, you git clone this repository, then you cd into the directory, and then you simply run the Stylish shell script. And there are various flags and options that you can use with Stylish. Here are some examples here on the GitHub. So let me go ahead and switch over to my desktop, and I'm going to go ahead and open a terminal here, and let me zoom in, and I'm going to cd into the Stylish directory because I've already uh, cloned the repository and if I did an ls you would see that we have stylish.sh right there that is the shell script so if I do a period slash and then stylish that will run the stylish script and you guys probably noticed in the background that my wallpaper changed and that was with no flags or options there so let me move this over here and let me run the script one more time just to verify yeah it's changing the wallpapers I think by default it's grabbing them from unsplash really nice wallpapers I mean these are really gorgeous wallpapers if I'm being honest so if you wanted to use something other than unsplash as the source for grabbing the wallpapers you could use reddit and the way you use reddit is uh, let me go back into this directory here. If I did another ls, you would see there is a file called subreddits. If I open that file, you will see by default there are five names of subreddits in that file. You could edit this file. You could add subreddits, delete subreddits. They need to be to their own separate line. By default, we have wallpapers, earth porn, space porn, wallpaper, and pick as the subreddits. And if I wanted to specify these, I think what I could do is run the stylish command and then give it the dash R flag and then name of a subreddit. For example, maybe I wanted wallpaper dump as the subreddit to grab a wallpaper from. Uh, it looks like we got an error for that one. Let me just do dash R wallpaper and see if it works with that particular reddit. Yeah. Now that one worked just fine. Now there are plenty of flags and options that you can give Stylish. Uh, if you wanted to play with the scaling as far as how you draw it on the, the screen or you know what monitors you want to set it on and things like that, you do have the options of doing like Stylish-B space BG-Scale for scaling the wallpaper to the screen. I think some of these flags are very similar to the flags that FEH has. There's also the dash P flag. If you do dash P, that uses Pywall. What that does is it goes ahead and grabs that wallpaper from Unsplash or whatever subreddit. It sets the wallpaper and then it runs Pywall to give you a terminal color scheme based on the wallpaper it set. Let me see if I can actually do that. So let me switch back over to the desktop. I'm going to close Alacrity because I don't think Alacrity is going to work with Pywall. We need something that uses the X resources file as far as a terminal color scheme. So let's open Xterm. I do have Xterm here. And once again, let's CD into Stylish and let's run the uh, stylish command again. Let's go ahead and grab it from the wallpaper subreddit. So we got a new wallpaper. Now let's run that same command except this time let's give it a dash p flag. Uh, wall command not found so I don't have pywall installed. Well you know what let's install pywall. Is it pywall? I can't remember the name in arch. pywall dash git that would work. I don't want to review the package build. Let's just go ahead and install it. 
And this font here inside Xterm is a little small. I do apologize about that. It's asking for root password here to install. And now let me uh, clear the screen here and run that last command with the dash P flag for stylish. So it grabs us a new wallpaper and then it runs Pywall to set us a wallpaper based on this wallpaper. Wow, and that's great. So it grabbed this really pink and colorful wallpaper and then it, it created this really uh, horrible <laughs> terminal color scheme for us. So that is rather cool. I, I kind of like that. And the great thing about these kinds of bash scripts and shell scripts, Python scripts, you know, especially when they're short in length, is you can very easily go and read the script and figure out what it's doing. So what I could do is I could vim uh, stylish. Well, I, if I could spell it correctly, stylish, yep. And you know, if you know a little bit of shell scripting, you can figure out what this is doing. So link equals, and then the link to unsplash to grab a random wallpaper. I think what this is, is if you don't change this variable elsewhere in the script, it's going to always grab a wallpaper from unsplash, unless you give it a dash R flag, of course, for a subreddit, you can specify a subreddit to go grab a wallpaper from. And later on in the script, you can see some of the flags that you can do, you know, like we did dash P, which is pi wall here, a dash R is sub equals some kind of argument here. That's of course the subreddits. So that's what the R flag is. We also have flags B, S, H, W. I'm assuming H and W height and width. So that is uh, setting a size for the wallpaper. One neat thing is I notice we have the S flag for search. Let's actually try that because I actually did not think about that. So let's do stylish dash S for search and then search for some search term, Linux. Let's find a Linux related wallpaper. I don't know what it's going to go out and grab. Well, it grabbed, yeah, <laughs> just a picture of some random board here, but uh, not necessarily Linuxy, but close enough. Let's run it again. See if we get something a little more Linuxy related, you know, like some penguins or something. No, just a, a random picture of a location. Uh, let's do stylish s about well, nature. I really like that wallpaper. Wow, that is perfect. Very minimal as far as the colors, just you know, a little bit of black and green. Actually works really nicely with my current color scheme. Yeah, so uh, this script, again, it's 100 lines of shell scripting, very easy to read. You know, it's not, not, nothing earth shattering as far as innovation or anything, but it's really nice. You know, I really love it when people find a problem and solve it through the use of shell scripting. I really wanted to share it with you guys because I think I'm going to use this. I, I think it's good enough. I'm going to start using this myself. I may edit it, the code a little bit and play around with some things, uh, maybe tweak it to my liking. But for now, yeah, I, I think this is probably the best wallpaper setting utility I've seen, especially those of you that use standalone window managers and, and you're looking for something very easy to grab a wallpaper. What you could do, you know, in your window manager your config, your i3 config, or open box config, or in my case, my xmonad config, I could actually set stylish to run every time I log in. That way I always get a new wallpaper every time I log into my window manager. So yeah, I, I'm really glad I found this script. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of the show, Epsi, Dallas, Gabe, Lou, Mitchell, Sander, Alan, Akami, Archipitar, 30, Chuck, David, the other, David, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Orion, Paul, Polytech, Scott, Stephen, Spin, Wes, and Willie. These guys, they're the producers of this episode. Without these guys, this short little video about the stylish script wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you'd like to help me out, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.